Hi guys! Last week I talked all about anime and video games and in that video I mentioned my love for Sailor Moon. It was my very first anime, my favorite TV show as a kid and I still love it to this day. As you can see by this beautiful, beautiful Sailor Moon handbag that I had that I got from Disney World a few years ago. It's wonderful and so I thought Today I would expand on Sailor Moon and how I think about the characters in the most nerdy way I can think possible. That's right, it's a new year, but it's still the same nerdy Liz. <laughs> this is Sorted Sailor Moon. Now if you are new to this channel and don't know how Sorted works, I take 10 or so random characters from any given fandom, this case being Sailor Moon, and I sort them in Hogwarts houses because I am a nerd and I feel like I don't really need a reason. Before we start this, I will be using the Japanese names of the characters because even though when I was a kid I saw the English dub and I was most familiar with those names back then, since then I've seen both the Japanese version and the new English dub and I don't even remember half of what <laughs> the names are. When I say the Japanese names or whatever, somewhere in the video I'll put what their English dub name was just in case you're unfamiliar. So let's do this. First up is Minako Aino or Sailor Venus. Minako is, I feel, a l pretty similar to Usagi or Sailor Moon, but I feel like she's a more mature version. She is, can be very stubborn, but she always really likes to stand up for people and can be very passionate. So for those reasons, I'm going to be putting Sailor Venus into Gryffindor. Next is Ami Mizuno or Sailor Mercury. At first thought, I would think Ravenclaw because she is undoubtedly the most intelligent of the Sailor Scouts or Sailor Soldiers or Bishoujo Senshi, however you want to call them. I don't care. <laughs> However, I don't think she's a Ravenclaw. She is very loyal and very fair and likes to listen to everybody's side and is much more kind and good-hearted and even though she is very intelligent, I'm going to be putting Sailor Mercury into Hufflepuff. Next is Rei Hino or Sailor Mars. This one's kind of easy. What house is known for having a fiery personality? Uh, whenever I think of Red, I think of this house, and Red is most associated with Sailor Mars. Sailor Mars is fiery, that's her, like, element, and she's very stubborn, very loud, um, and just very headstrong. So for those reasons, I'm gonna be putting Sailor Mars into Gryffindor. Next is Mamoru Chiba, or Tuxedo Mask. He's a little hard to do because he's hard to read. There's some parts of him that are kind of purposefully ambiguous. You sometimes don't really know where his head is at and that's kind of what makes him interesting because a lot of the other characters, especially a lot of the Sailor Scouts, they're very transparent. So for that reason I might think Slytherin. However, he is also very noble and is very brave undoubtedly so I think and at the end of the day I'm gonna be putting tuxedo mask into Gryffindor. Next is Haruka Tenno or Sailor Uranus. Get all the jokes and the laughing out of the way you fools. <laughs> at some point she has a mentality of sacrificing something for the co for the greater good and that's kind of sort of like a Slytherin kind of way of thinking where if there's a casualty so be it because it's serving a, for a greater purpose however she's also very stubborn also very brash also very headstrong and very brave so I think for those reasons I'm gonna be putting Sailor Uranus into Gryffindor. Next is Chibi Usa or Sailor Chibi Moon. This is kind of weird because I think 
where I'm gonna put her it might surprise some people. She's very cute and at sometimes very sweet, but she's also a little bit of a trickster and kind of manipulative. She does a lot of things in order to get what she wants and she's undoubtedly pretty selfish. Those are I'm gonna be putting Chibiusa into Slytherin. Next is Michiru Kyle or Sailor Neptune. With her, I feel like like with Ami, she's undoubtedly very intelligent, but she's also very artsy, very creative, and more of an introvert. She is more internal than a lot of the other people that I'm talking about. So for those reasons, I'm putting Sailor Neptune into Ravenclaw. Next is Makoto Kino or Sailor Jupiter. This is another one which might surprise some people. I think initially a lot of people would put Sailor Jupiter into Gryffindor because she's tough, she's a good fighter, she can be a little stubborn, but at her core she's a much more sweet, much more kind, maternal figure as opposed to a very stalwart, uh, brash kind of person. And I think that's her innermost self. I think she's really fair and I think she values friendship and hard work above all else. So for those reasons, I'm going to be putting Sailor Jupiter into Hufflepuff. Next is Setsuna Mayo or Sailor Pluto. Sailor Pluto, I feel, is one of the more mysterious Sailor Scouts. I just get this aura about her that she is more internal and internalizes a lot and does a lot of strategy and a lot of thinking before she acts. So for those reasons, I'm going to be putting Sailor Pluto into Ravenclaw. Lastly, we have Usagi Itsukino or Sailor Moon. Fighting evil by moonlight, winning love by daylight, and she's the main character, obviously, of Sailor Moon. <laughs> Sailor Moon is a really fun character and also kind of easy to sort. I know probably a lot of people would put her into Hufflepuff because one, she values friendship a lot and she is loyal to a fault. Two, the girl likes food and we all know that Hufflepuffs literally live right next to the kitchens, so. <laughs> but that said, she is lazy, she is selfish, she is stubborn, she is brash, but she's also really brave. So for those reasons, I'm going to be putting Sailor Moon into Gryffindor. Well there you have it guys, that's my take on the Sailor Scouts, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know where you would put all of the Sailor Scouts, including you know characters I didn't get to, like Sailor Saturn, or Luna, or Artemis, or all those guys. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, and all those great social things that will be in the description below. And before I sign off, I just wanted to say thank you very much for getting me to 900 subscribers. I recently hit 900 a couple weeks ago, and I just wanted to say thank you so much. I really, really hope to get to 1,000 by the end of maybe the half of the year, <laughs> but at least by the end of the year this year, I really would hope to get to a thousand, and I have some, I've had some special things planned for a thousand subs for a while, so I really hope we get there, and I just wanted to say thank you a lot. So, thank you for watching, I'll see you next week. Bye! Mwah.